pearls are everywhere. Hello, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a November favorites video. Pretty sure the last time I did this video, it was for January, so apologies on that. I definitely wanted to do it every single month and I just completely stopped. We're gonna pick back up with it for December, so I'm gonna be showing you all the recent things that I've been liking for November, and let's get started. The first few items I'm gonna be showing you guys are specifically makeup products. These are the things that I've been loving for November, what I've been reaching for the most, and what I feel like is of the best quality yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> First thing I'm going to be showing you guys is my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I don't know if I brought this up before, but I do use this a lot in my videos. If you watch any of my Get Ready With Me's, this is my favorite um, inexpensive drugstore concealer. I love the NYX brand. Everyone knows that they are very popular, very well known. They have really great products, which is why I not only have this product, but I also have their finishing spray. This is the matte finish, Finny Matte. Um, finishing spray like I said this really does make my makeup last so freaking long it's the best ever I have very oily skin so the matte finish is fantastic and then lastly from my third makeup product I really like the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, which I am no longer subscribed to because I am trying to save money, but I really do like this mascara. I liked getting that BoxyCharm subscription because it let me try out a bunch of different products, things I wouldn't normally gravitate towards and see what I liked and what I disliked. And I normally stick with the same mascara, which I believe was the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes, the one in the pink bottle. That's the one that I always used. And then in my BoxyCharm, I actually ended up getting the Fenty Mascara, which was phenomenal. Still my number one, still my favorite, still love. What I I like about this the packaging is so cute it's like a hot pink and then it has like this foil gold lettering on the package and then when you open it up the brush is um a real like bristle brush i don't really like the plastic ones anymore i think like real bristles are just better for like separating my lashes and coating them evenly and this gets my lashes like really dramatic every single time you put on a new coat and i also like if you saw that the brush went kind of like fat and then skinny and then fat again and i just feel like that's really good for my eye shape and just for getting on every single lash obviously i do not wear mascara just by itself most times i just put mascara on real quick and then i put on my false lashes so i'm not just wearing this by itself but if i had to choose i would for this mascara moving on to more like room body care type of items I have two products from Bath and Body Works that I am loving first item that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this peace iced raspberry bellini ultimate hydration body cream with hyaluronic acid that I got from Bath and Body Works during their buy three get three free this smells so amazing oh my god okay I'm not gonna lie I do know that these are like heavily fragranced and they're probably like not the best for just putting all over your body all the time. I can't do that because I have eczema so I do use a different body moisturizer. But in terms of for my hands and whenever I keep stuff in my bag or in my car, most times this is going to be in my car just because it is a larger bottle. It'll be harder for me to run out of it. But I do like to smell this a lot. I feel like it's a very unique smell. Definitely smells like candy. Really love it. So that's why I've been liking this a lot. And then as for this, I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised by these room sprays mind you i always saw the room sprays i know all the deals i know they always have these on sale i always see the sale and i think hmm those probably don't even work that well just because sometimes like i like their wallflower plugs and the wallflower refills but i do tend to have like some difficulties using them just because most of the time when i use those refills i feel like i don't smell them after a while people say your nose gets used to them but there have been some times where i put them into a room and i've smelled them the entire time until they run out because it works really really well and i felt like that was gonna be the same thing for these body sprays like it was gonna be hit or miss some would work some wouldn't work when i tell you when I tell you. I got the turquoise waters and I got the vanilla birch. I sprayed that in my car. That was so strong. I literally had to roll down my windows. I sprayed only three times. Only three times. It was insane. So now, when I use these in my car, I can literally only spray like once in the front. Maybe like a little half spray once in the back. That's it. That's it. Started using it in my house. I forget why I brought it in the one time. I think I brought it in on accident. Used it in the bathroom. The bathroom smelled funky. Okay, like it smelled so bad. Most times I use my poop free in a little toilet bowl. That's been giving me a little like weirdy smells I feel like recently and I just haven't been liking it. Put this spray in the bathroom. When I tell you that smell was completely gone. Completely gone. Like it smelled like straight up in that bathroom, yo. Spray this, gone. 
gone. So now I use these all the time. <laughs> I literally use these all the time. So I kept the vanilla birch in here. I keep the turquoise waters in my car. I just bought two new ones. The one that's in my bathroom right now, the hall bath, is the vanilla balsam. And then I have an extra. This is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Also, I also use these for my trash can because before I would use Febreze. And I hate when I spray it with the Febreze and it literally comes out. Oh, what? I hate that. And I feel like that also has like a weird smell. It doesn't really last that long. It doesn't really work that well. Sometimes I feel like it combines with the nasty smell, which completely, completely is against the purpose. When I use this in the trash can, smell completely gone. Completely gone. I literally spray in there every single time now before I put a new trash bag in. Buy this. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Moving on to, oh my god, there was another makeup item. I'm a dumb bitch. Other makeup item that I've been using is the EOS Hero Extra Dry Lip Treatment. I like using this a lot. This is just like more of like a intensive lip care treatment for your lips. I don't like the little ball spear ones. I use their other little tube ones. I feel like those just work for like maybe five minutes and they dry out and then they're done. But this one I feel like is really good with staying on my lips, moisturizing them. I like when it lays it on thick. That's my favorite part because my lips are dry all the freaking time. And I know I need to scrub them, which is why I bought a scrub actually on Black Friday. But this is the one that I always use under my lipsticks when I'm doing my makeup and I put on, you know, chapstick before I get to doing beat my face. This is what I use. So highly recommend this one. First thing I'm going to be showing you guys are my keys. Oh, I like my keychain a lot. I got a new keychain. Actually, long story short, let me let me just tell you why I'm even bringing up my keys. So, we had a little incident at one of my friends little birthday get-togethers in an Airbnb where I lost my keys or I thought I lost my keys and they were sitting underneath of a bag like I literally had my keys on the ground and then the bag went on top of the keys because it was late at night and I couldn't see and it was dark in the room anyways I thought I lost my keys and could not find them for the life of me so I ended up getting an air tag and on top of me getting the air tag I was like you know what I just want a whole new keychain I just want to erase this moment from my mind so first I just want to show you the keychain because it's really freaking cool and this is what it looks like. I got it from Vera Bradley. And if you can see, so it has like this little clip right here. And then this attaches the key ring on the end. So you can unclip this and take it off, which I think is so super cool. Cause sometimes, you know, when you have to go and take your car in for service and you always have to put your keys on like a new keychain. Cause I'm like giving them all of my keys. Cause like I have a lot of stuff on here that I need and I really don't want to give them everything just cause they, I hope they don't lose it. What I like is that if I wanted to, I can move these up here, like whatever keys I need or whatever, and then just like unhook it. Did I say that right? If anything, I would only just like take off this and then just put that on here for the most part. Not only that, but also like sometimes I'll get in the car with John and then I'll forget something in the apartment and I don't want to take my keys out of the car if my car's heating up. Cause sometimes I forget to heat it up even though I do have remote start. So another thing that's cool is I'll take this off keep the key in the ignition and then John can stay warm while the car heats. I didn't buy it for that purpose. I literally just bought it because it was cute and it was on sale. But I realized after the fact, this is a very functional keychain, very smart. The number one thing that I do like is the AirTag. So the AirTag is $30. I got a cute case from it from Casemate. This is what the AirTag looks like. If you've ever heard of Tile, it's literally pretty much the same function. I actually got mine um, with the little unicorn on there. And then this is just what it looks like on the back. What I like about this is that it not only will like send a sound so that it rings. I think Tile is the same thing, but also um, you'll have it on your phone and it'll tell you like how far you are and if you're hot and cold and like it has an arrow that tells you like which direction you need to walk. So that's really cool. And then also you lose it or if you're really far away from it, your phone will notify you and say your phone is away from your air tag. Your air tag is like really far, like it's no longer in connection. Like it will notify you and let you know. Also, if someone else has your air tag, um, it'll notify them that they have an air tag that isn't theirs. I mean, at that point, they probably just stole it. But you know what I mean. Those are some of the things I like about the air tag, and that's why I got it. I kept wanting to buy the tile, never bought it. And then when I saw there was an air tag, I was like, you know what? I have an iPhone and an Apple Watch and an iPad. I might as well just get an AirPods. I might as well just get the air tag. I might as well just keep going. Am I ever going to get a Mac, though? No. I'll just get the air tag, call it a day. I literally bought it that same day when I lost my keys because I was just so. Traumatized. And embarrassed that I lost my keys and like had literally everyone searching for it and yeah, so That's good. We're good there So since I now live in an apartment and I do a lot of entertaining and I have people coming over there are two main things Two main house items that I really gravitate towards like use all the things so I'm pretty sure both these came from Amazon But I have a cocktail shaker set very basic. What is this hair doing? Okay, I have a cocktail shaker set and everyone should have one. There's like so many cocktail shaker sets out there, so many different colors and designs. I just got a really basic one because I needed it 
for something like last minute I think so I think this is like $20 maybe it was very inexpensive on Amazon and as you can see it's just a silver one very basic my mom has the one where like you turn it and then it has like all the different directions on like how to make a drink and like it tells you all like the um measurements and stuff and what alcohols to use but this one you know just has a little lid so you can strain it and then you take it off again basic stuff literally just for you to shake it so and this is mo oh modern mixology that was the brand and then another thing i like because i have a facebook and a person that i follow in there is the tipsy bartender if you're not following them he makes a lot of great drinks shows you how to make a whole bunch of things for parties or for yourself different holiday events whenever i'm looking for new drinks or if someone gives us like at one point that's we were getting so much whiskey at one point, I don't even know why. And I was looking at different drinks to make with whiskey. And of course, my basic ass just ended up making a whiskey sour. But I went on there and there's like a whole bunch of different whiskeys, a whole bunch of different drinks, and it just lets you play around and experiment. Obviously, this is like the little thing that you use to measure your alcohol for. And then this is the spoon that I kept seeing him use. So whenever you see a drink and it has like, say if you have like blue at the bottom and green on the top, you're supposed to like angle it, hold it over the cup, and then when you pour it, it like slowly pours out. Instead of me like just pouring this in, it would go straight to the bottom. I hope you feel as shocked. You pour it on top and it like trails down and that's how it keeps from going straight down to the bottom of your drink to make it look all pretty and grainy. I was like, wow, I'm shocked. And of course this is like the little muddler so whenever you have like mint or whatever at the bottom of your um, drinks or like raspberries or whatever fresh like food you want to put, you literally just crush it up and then yeah, basic stuff. Basic, basic cocktail shakers that everyone knows what it is and then also is my electric wine opener John got this for me for Christmas last year and it's rechargeable with the USB-C port so what I do I just plug it into the wall whenever it gets low but I literally just like hold it and then it just takes it off and then when you want the cork to come out you have to angle it sideways and go like this and then it goes back down I'll see if he has the link for this this is um Q U N T I S maybe that's what I'm seeing but yeah really nice really handy I hate using a manual corkscrew my little hands just can't do it no amount of weightlifting is going to help me open a wine bottle with a manual corkscrew last few things I want to show you is just like a fashion item and another home item so the last home item that I have this blanket that I actually got from Black Friday as well it was at my Vera Bradley outlets two for $35 and I got this one and then I got another one that I put in my car this is really comfortable I felt like since it was like kind of thin it wasn't gonna be as warm and let me tell you I was wrong and I just love how it feels it feels so luxurious and soft and I just love it so much so definitely recommend if you have a Vera Bradley outlets near you you should definitely pick one up they have sales all the time definitely recommend last for my fashion items these are two boots two boots this is one pair two shoes these are the boots that I got from Marshall's I have not owned combat boots since high school and these just look way cooler than the ones that I used to have like I don't know mine did not have this thick of a heel they were like the real basic brown ones with the really thin like soles and stuff and I just like how chunky this one looks and it was very affordable. They were literally only $35. So I really like these. And because they're so chunky, they make my feet look so big. And it makes me have like that grungy looking when I wear certain outfits. Which is why I'm wearing this, which is the next item. I love this. I love it so much. I got it from Target. I'm so freaking mad though. I went in store before Thanksgiving. I think I went like Tuesday? Wednesday? Something like that. Went in store. I bought this. I bought another coat. I bought another pair of shoes. All that stuff, full price, you know, no sales, whatever. Find out online, everything was on sale. Go back in store. I'm like, hi, I bought all this stuff in store, full price. Can I do like my price adjustment? Because you know, nowadays a lot of stores have that. They do price match, price adjustments, whatever. I was like, like do I have to bring the items in though? Because I don't have them on me. I really just want to know. Well, because like, I know that that is kind of sketchy. Like if I don't have the items but at the same time, like was about to take the tags off. I think I took the tags off the majority of the stuff. So like I kept the tags just in case, but I didn't have it on me. So I was looking at the items and I showed her one and she was like, Oh, that's an online only sale, so you can't get price adjustment. Bitch, you know how many times I've gotten price adjustments for like a pack of batteries at Target and it literally was a sale only online because clearly they weren't on sale in store and they gave that to me. Like literally this jacket I got in store for $50, online was $35. So pissed. When I got my coat in store, $60, online I think it was $45. And then I got a pair of boots that were half off online. Half off. So annoyed. So long story short from now on i'm literally just gonna check every single time i shop from target i'm going to check and make sure that my stuff is not on sale so i don't get screwed over again but i really like this it is a shacket it has like you see how the sleeves are like cinched i thought that was cool and different and then also it's a size small but it's very oversized let me get up real quick uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, this is how it's looking. Very cute. Size small is huge. Normally to get this look, I would have to get a size medium. So I'm really happy that it's a small. You know, they're starting to understand what sizes are again. Because for a minute, because I swore they thought this small was an extra small, but it's fine. Okay, that is my favorites for November. I need to start doing this more often. Just because I like talking to the camera and I like showing off my stuff as if it's a haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way to someone. And... I'll talk to you guys in my next one.